interrupting this video super super quick to talk to you guys about today's sponsor which is book of the month i'm actually working with them a second time this month because they're having a really 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 great deal on romance books 99.9 .9 of the books i read are romance books so you guys know i had to share the sale with you guys if you guys go to book of the month right now you guys can choose a romance book and get your first one for only five dollars which is literally insane and you can't find that literally anywhere they have a ton of romance selections but i have four of them right here the reunion lunar love love on the brain which i've read and loved and this one romantic comedy which i'm actually looking forward to reading this month if you guys don't know what book of the month is they are a super popular and fast growing online book service for readers their mission continues to be to promote new and emerging authors and to help readers discover books that they love their team vets hundreds of books each month and they give readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles you can skip any month at any time and you will not be charged they literally always have the best prices for new release hardcover fiction and like i said this month right now you guys can get your first romance book for only five dollars their code for that sale is also spicy they know what they're doing definitely take advantage of that before it's gone i'm starting to realize that this sweater is like my bookstore sweater i wear it almost every single time i come to the bookstore it is actually the most gorgeous spring day today and i'm going to be spending part of that day at my favorite place i'm not making a big intro today because i want to be in there already but there's going to be a reading vlog a bookstore vlog and at the end of the video i'm also doing a book recommendations tag also last night i finished the final offer and i want to give you guys all of my thoughts about that book but first i'm going to go into the bookstore hopefully only get like two or three books we'll see we're gonna get this video started if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe also while i'm in there i'm going to sit down at the cafe and write out my Goodreads review about the final offer. Doing a Goodreads review right after I finish a book is literally one of my favorite things to do. getting three books they had to give me this like huge bag but i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit disappointed because like two or three books that i really wanted to get they didn't have in stock one of the books that i really really wanted was daisy hates which is the second book in the magnolia park series they didn't have park avenue summer which i really want to read they didn't have severance and they also didn't have scarred which is the second book in the Never After series. But I did pick up three books. I mentioned in my last vlog that I wanted to read this book. It's my year of rest and relaxation. And so many of you guys commented on that video that you love this book, you adored it. So I'm super, super, super excited to read it. And it looks like it's gonna be kind of like a quick read. Second book is this one. This one I actually wanted to get last time I came to Barnes & Noble. And I was like, okay, if I still wanna get it, next time I come back, then I will get it. I'm not sure if you would call this a thriller, but it's basically like a whodunit type of book. It's basically about a maid in a hotel that finds a dead body and her and her coworkers have to figure out who killed this body before it gets blamed on her it sounds like it's gonna be a really fun read so I had those two books and I was like you know what I could call it a day I could leave right now and it would be totally fine because I am thinking of coming back in a week because Emily Henry's new book is getting released next week and I will absolutely positively be reading that I'm so excited I feel like her book is gonna put me in such a summer vibe like all of her books have the best summer spring just such a good vibe to it but I'm in the mood to read something just light-hearted witty fun like not too deep not too crazy just like a cute little rom-com that puts you in a good mood so i picked up this book right here if you guys remember i recommended made in manhattan which is by lauren lane i adored that book and after finishing i was like i need to read more by this author so i picked up this one it's called to sir with love it says as light and refreshing as a glass of champagne and that's what i'm looking for i just want like a refreshing light-hearted easy breezy funny little rom-com so these were my three pickups today i was gonna sit down at the cafe and fill out my goodreads review and everything but it was super super packed so i think i'm gonna go to the coffee shop that i like going to get myself a coffee sit down start a new book and fill out my goodreads review i figured i'd use the time that it's gonna take me to get to the coffee shop to talk to you guys about the final offer which is the book i finished last night if you didn't know that is the third and final book in the dreamland billionaire series to make it short and sweet for you i loved every second of the final offer every Every second every page every chapter I was so invested into that book and now I can't decide if terms and conditions is my favorite or if it's the final offer because I really really loved both one thing that book made me realize is that I feel like I don't hate slow burns as much as I thought I did because that book is a slow burn through and through it has like this whole like summer romance type of vibe to it I literally have zero complaints about it like I really really enjoyed it and it made me want to live in a lake house The coffee shop that I like coming to is closed and I'm so bummed. The day that I'm craving the coffee the most 
is the day they're closed. But I'm still gonna sit out here and read and work on my laptop. I decided I'm gonna start this book. We're gonna start this one today. want some coffee that I'm debating going to Starbucks. Should I? Who am I kidding? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Starbucks and I'm gonna try this TikTok drink that I saw. Could I please get an iced grande blonde vanilla latte? Could I get that with cinnamon cream cold foam? The Spanish latte that I would have gotten if the other place wasn't closed would have been so much better, but this will have to do. Update, this drink is literally one of the best drinks I've tried. It literally tastes like horchata or a churro. I'm drinking my coffee reading my book, watching the playoffs. It's a good day. be a cute idea to include this in this reading vlog because it is book related. I'm going to be doing the book recommendation tag. One of you guys commented on one of my book videos like two weeks ago or three weeks ago and I looked up this tag and I thought it was such a cute idea and it is originally from Steph Bower. There's only 15 questions so this is going to be like a quick little situation. Okay question number one, a book you tell people is your favorite. There are a lot of books that I consider my favorite but these right here are two of them. Normal People by Sally Rooney and Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Even if I were to read new books that are better than these two, I feel like these were two books that helped me discover a different set of reading for the first time. But yeah, my love for reading definitely grew because of these two books, so that's why they will forever be like my favorites, ever. Second question is a book that is your guilty pleasure. I feel like dark romance and mafia romance stories are my guilty pleasure, like that genre of books. It's definitely 100% my guilty pleasure, but a series that I feel like is my guilty pleasure is the Maid series, Sweetest Oblivion, Maddest Obsession, and The Darkest Temptation. But if I had to answer this question with one single book, it has to be The Maddest Obsession. I've read this book like twice now. If you haven't read it yet and you're a fan of mafia romance or dark romance or you want to get into it, I highly recommend this one. It's so good. And third question is a book everyone loved but you didn't. This is a good question. I honestly feel like there's a good amount of books that other people said that they loved and they like really, really, really enjoyed that I feel like I kind of either didn't like or just kind of like, like not that much. But the one book that after I finished, I was like, there has to be something wrong with me for not liking this book. And that was this book right here. It happened one summer. It was cute and it was entertaining for most of it. I just feel like I didn't love it. Fourth question is a book you read the fastest. This is actually a recent read. I actually finished this last weekend and I read this book in less than 24 hours. This is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. So I started this Friday night. Like I read maybe like one or two chapters and I was like, cool, it sounds like it's gonna be a good book. And then on Saturday, I picked it up again. I literally wanted to fall asleep early that day. So I'm like, I'm gonna read one or two chapters and then I'm gonna go to bed. An hour and a half later, I literally finished this entire book. I was like, one more chapter, one more chapter, one more chapter. I could not put it down. And the thing that I loved about this that the author did is that every single chapter ended on a cliffhanger. So it literally made me want to keep reading until I finished the entire thing. It was such a good reading experience. It was such a good story, such a good book. The anticipation, the mystery, the plot twists, were so, 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 so good. Number five is a book that deserves more hype. That has to be this book right here. And I might be wrong, and this book might already have a lot of hype, but I feel like it deserves more. This is Taylor Jenkins' read, Carrie Soto is back. This book is not just really, really emotional, but it's also such a good story. I just feel like more people need to be talking about it, more people need to be raving about it. It is so, so good. And if you've read anything by Taylor Jenkins' read and you enjoyed it, I highly recommend this one. Okay, next question. A book that is becoming a movie or TV show. I'm not using Daisy Jones and the Six for this one because it's already a TV show. If you guys haven't seen Daisy Jones and the Six, you need to run to Prime Video and watch it. Not just because I love the book and I really wanted to like the show, but if I had never read the book and I just watched the show, I would be obsessed with it. It is literally one of my new favorite shows. The actors are amazing. The wardrobe is amazing. The story is amazing. Everything. The music. Are you kidding me? I'm like prepared for my Spotify wrapped at the end of the year to be filled with Daisy Jones and the Six music. And I'm not even embarrassed about it because it is so, so good. For this question, I'm going to use this one right here. This is Taylor Jenkins' read One True Loves. And this is actually a movie right now. It's in select theaters, I'm pretty sure. And it's going to be released 
on Hulu or something like that soon. I haven't seen it yet, but if it's anything like the book, then I know I'm gonna be crying my eyes out to that movie. Number seven, a book you have reread the most. And I have reread The Maddest Obsession, but I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna be using Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. This is the fourth book in the Twisted series. I honestly don't reread books that often. Even my favorite books ever, I feel like I haven't reread because my TBR list is literally never ending and I always have something waiting for me to read. But the one that I actually have reread is Twisted Lies. If for any reason the book that I'm currently reading gets boring or I'm just like not into it, I always go back to this one and read a couple chapters. Number eight is a book from a genre you don't typically read and that has to be this one right here. I was going through my bookshelves and I literally could not find one single book from a genre that's different than romance or thrillers or stuff like that. But as soon as I saw this one, I was like, this is technically fantasy. It's literally about a woman that's lived for 300 years. So that's definitely got to be fantasy, but this is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I read this book back in 2021. I still remember how much I loved it and how amazing this story was. When I read this for the first time, I actually thought it was like a really, really long book. And I mentioned when I talked about it that I wish it was shorter, but now looking back, I honestly think it's perfect. Like it's just really, really full of detail. I'm not really big into reading fantasy and I don't think I've read any fantasy books since this one, but this book right here, I really, really enjoyed. Number nine is a book that deserves all the hype that it gets. That has to be this book right here and this book I really 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 wanted to put in my favorite books of all time This is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren But I know this book is really really hyped up and a lot of people love this book for a good reason too because it is such a good book It is such a beautiful story I read this back in 2021 and that was like the first time I read a romance book like this one And I still remember feeling like oh my god I want what these two characters have this book does have a lot of hype But I feel like if anything it deserves more because it is so so good. Number 10 is a book you usually recommend when asked to give a recommendation. My recent recommendation that I've been giving a lot of people is this book right here, Before We Were Strangers. If you still haven't picked up this book, you definitely, definitely have to. I need people to feel what I felt when I read this book. It's a story of friends to lovers to strangers to lovers, if that makes sense. Number 11 is a book that has your favorite characters. And that definitely 100% is this book right here, Daisy Jones and the Six. I remember the first time I described this book in a book video, I described it as characters and a story that belong in a book and they belong in a story that people read again and again and again because they are so interesting, entertaining, amazing. Like it is such a good story and the characters make it that much better. Number 12 is a book you wish you could live in. This was a pretty hard question because I feel like there's a lot of stories and a lot of books that I feel like would be so cool to live in that story or in that setting. But the one I went with was this one right here, Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Just the overall vibe of this book and the setting that it takes place in and the town, everything about it was so perfect and it had such a good summer vibe to it. A big part of the book happens in a really, really cute small town and another part of it is in New York City and I would enjoy either one of those two things. Number 13 is a book you thought you would hate but ended up loving. That has to be this book right here, Magnolia Parks. I put off reading this book for so long because I actually thought I wasn't gonna like it. So I was incredibly, incredibly surprised when I actually read this book and I ended up loving it. Number 14 is a book that made you cry. I made an entire video of all the books that made me cry. So if you guys are interested in reading some sad books, definitely go look at that video. But the one that I saw in my little bookcase and I was just like, you know what? I haven't talked about this book in a while. And I remember feeling so much pain when I read this book. And that was this book right here, Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I remember I finished this book like in the middle of the night and I was bawling my eyes out. It was such a good story. It was heartbreaking. It ripped my heart out, but the story and the ending was definitely worth it. Okay, final question of this tag and that is a book you wish you could read for the first time. I feel like I could answer this question with a lot of different books because there have been so many books that I've loved and loved and loved. And I just really wish I could reread it for the first time or like erase my memory and just read it again. But the one that I chose has to be this right here. I literally remember reading it and like slowing down with reading it because I just really, really didn't want to finish it because of how much I was enjoying it. Everything about the book was perfect. The characters, the setting. The setting was Malibu in the 1980s. It was heartbreaking, it was empowering. Seriously, such a good book. And I really, really, really wish I could read this for the first time again.